Thanks, Mason, for uh, coming to the backroom sound with us. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, it's yeah, it really, really good. Yeah. All right, we just wanted to ask you, uh, um, ask you to talk a little bit about the song. Yeah. Uh, well, the song's called "It Was Us," um, and I wrote it with with my good buddy Brooks Hubbard. Um, he's another artist uh, here in Nashville. And um, we had written once together before. We thought it was a, a kind of a good fit, so so we came together again the next week or the week after. And the the song idea just kind of came from from he said something, and and I thought, oh, that's cool, so I'll write it down, and, and the song just kind of burst out of that. I yeah. guess, yeah. <laughs> I think you can always tell when somebody like pulls from personal experiences yeah, yeah, yeah. and and like that really comes through, which mm -hmm. I think it does. Well, song. that's 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 definitely what we try to do. Just write a, an honest song from our perspectives of different um, scenarios and situations, and yeah. you know, hopefully, hopefully people can connect with it and they like it. So. That's right. that's yeah. something that's always interesting to me too. Just about mm -hmm. the craft of songwriting mm -hmm. is, even if it is a story song, you put yourself in that and right, you kind right, of right. Under, you know see what what would happen right. in, in, this, in this situation, which is really cool. Yeah, let's okay. take a take, feel, sure. see how that is. Sure. Take a take. Does anybody have chapstick? No, My lip gets stuck on my teeth. <laughs> I actually do. And then it's like, you're trying to take a hit. <laughs> you have chapstick? Yes. Your lip, your lip gets stuck on that's, your tooth? That's hilarious. <laughs> But I'm not. I'm laughing with you, not laughing at you. That's, <laughs> like your mouth is open and it like. Like the chipmunk thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you sent us three songs mm -hmm. uh, and we went through them. We heard them, and uh, we think your melodies are very strong. Thank you. We Thank think you. they're the type of melody that sticks. Right. It's good. That's good. We're humming that thing yeah. for a week after we listen to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, we picked this one in particular. Because the other the other songs they were so strong already yeah. that I didn't feel like there was anything we could play on it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it needed anything, and this one had some room to play with. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah, that's it, Chris. Let's do this one. Yeah. yeah. For the benefit of anybody watching, where can we find you? Um, you guys, anyone could find me. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, it's all Mason Lee Music, one one word. Um, I'm on there. Follow me. One, two, three. So sorry. <laughs> Thanks for being on stage. I didn't oh, really hear anything except for that one, yeah, that one, that one fart right in the middle. That's, that's <laughs> at the end of the, the, the most emotional part of the song. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody looked at me. <laughs> yeah, so the band today was uh, Jason Cohen on drums. He's a heavy hitter. He, he can really, he can really lay into it, and yeah. like he just got a good groove that you know, as a bass player, yeah. it's very easy to mm -hmm. kind of sit in that pocket. Great so it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, Molly Linz uh, was doing mm -hmm. background vocals, um, who I also met through Mason, and uh, she, you know, I was the last time we played together. I was really impressed with just uh, you know the, the tone of her voice, and she was really yeah, solid great. and. Yeah. Really good at, at you know picking out these harmonies and, and background parts. Uh, so yeah, which, which was great. So you know, thank you to, to everybody yeah. uh, for you know coming to the backroom sound and mm -hmm. and doing this with us. Indeed, thank you. It was love and it was...